Hi everyone, this is Hal Lack and uh, welcome to another Java tutorial session. Uh, in the previous tutorial, um, I laid out the design that I was going to uh, create in IntelliJ. Okay, so this is a, a very rough drawing of the form that I'm going to uh, be creating in IntelliJ. So uh, just a recap, the given names or the labels. Okay, so given name, surname, uh, this should not have an S, mobile uh, and email. Okay, so these are the labels and they should be right justified um, and I will have um, for each uh, label there will be a text uh, box that uh, the user can type in so we can gather the information. Okay, and we have two buttons. I have uh, one button which uh, basically will add the contact and um, another button I just say ignore just to show demonstrate the flow layout which I will use down here. So the way I'm going to build this as a recap again is I'm going to use uh, the border layout first and then what I'll do is I will be using um, um, the grid layout within the labels and the text box and then of course for the buttons I'll, use it, I'll be using the flow layout. Okay, So that's, that's how I'll, I'll uh, um, proceed. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, um, so here's our main. I don't really need a main. Okay, so we're not going to need a main. So I'm just going to delete that. Okay, and you, you see how the, um, IntelliJ handles uh, GUI development as we move along here. Okay, so first of all, right click or uh, Command N on my Mac, and what I want to do is go to New. Okay, and I want to instead of using Java class, I will be selecting a GUI form. Okay, now it's important that this uh, checkbox is, is uh, checked because uh, this will actually the form will be uh, linked or bound to this class. Okay, so the code and the, the form um, and the designer will, will mesh quite closely together. Okay, so I'm just going to call this new contact. All right, press OK. And there we have our um, our, our designer here. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. And by default, okay. So here's the code for it. All right. And that's generated with this uh, this contact form. So what I, what I'm going to do now is um, uh, I'll be creating the first of all I'll be so down here I'm going to uh, since it's the main panel. Okay. So this is the J panel. So the panel holds basically, um, it's what the name implies. It's a panel and you can throw additional components on it. Okay, so that's what we have. Now what I also need to do is, oh, yeah. this is way too big. Let me adjust this. Because I, what I need to see is I need to see my palette as well. Okay, so there's our palette with, with all the components. Okay, so anybody who's been uh, doing any work in any other IDE should be familiar with uh, palettes and creating uh, GUIs. Okay, so the first thing is I selected um, border layout. Okay, and then I should give this a name. Okay, so I'm just going to call this uh, new contact. Uh, okay, so. Uh, just so there's an So you go back to the code to see that it, it, it generates, it actually creates it for you. Okay. And IntelliJ does something. Uh, what it does is that on the background, uh, each time you drag something on. So for example, the next thing I'll do is um, I'll drag. Um, okay. So I'm going to do uh, a J panel. So you notice that, you notice on that, that little, uh, there's a little um, note here that comes up. Because I can't let go, but if you read, read on the right hand side, it says new contact root panel west. Okay, because I'm dragging it onto the west side. Okay, it doesn't look very uh, nice there, right? Uh, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to drag it another one to the left. You see that? Uh, to the east side. And that's the east. Okay, and this will house our, um, our text um, field. Okay, and the bottom here will will hold our buttons. Okay, and before I proceed any further, uh, I want to name the fields. Okay, and by default it comes out as Grid Layout Manager. Okay, and as your and Grid Layout Manager basically uh, layout allows me to um, add components, and by default it's just one column. Okay, all right. So let's name this. How uh, I'm going to name this is um, I'm going to name it West. Okay, just so I can identify it. 
was um, was label panel. How about that? Okay. Uh, so just we know that it, it holds the, the panels. Okay. So there you go. All right. So I'm gonna rename this as um, east uh, text field panel. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. And down here, uh, I'll just call it uh, south. Okay, you can name it other things. Just make it intuitive so that you can follow um, along. Uh, and these will be buttons. Okay, so there. So I have those. Okay, in place. Now you go back. This is what's generated for you. Okay. All right. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is add the, the labels on uh, within each one. So I'm going to select J label, okay, and then just put it there. Okay, so the label will, will be placed inside a West label panel. Okay, I'm going to give it a field name and um, I just call it given name label. Okay. Right, and the text for it will be given names. Okay, so that, that's all we have so far. And the alignment right now is just uh, left, so I'm going to make sure it goes to the right. Okay, so just for now. And then we go back again, it's been added. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest for the other labels as well. So add another label. You notice that it just fills everything up with the number of labels, but you'll see that it'll, it'll actually come out afterwards. Okay, so this will be surname uh, label. This will be down here. I'll have, fill in the text as surname no s. Okay, and cool. Okay, so that's what we have, and then make sure that this is uh, right aligned. So, so we have that. Okay, um, let's do the, the other ones as I promised. Okay. This will be uh, mobile. Right here. Right here. This will be mobile number. Make sure that's to the right. Okay, and then have one more label, which I put in. And this will be email. This will be email. Right there. And I just put it to the right. And here, just be email. Okay, so that's what we have in there. It doesn't look right, very nice right now, um, but uh, you you see afterwards um, that everything will come out. So now I'm gonna use text field. So the first text field that I have, I'm gonna put in there. Okay. So here's my field, and then this will, of course, be a uh, given name uh, text field. Okay. This is what I have. I'm just going to leave the, the center, and we'll, we'll see. We can always adjust. Yeah. I just I just did using it filled. So it fills the entire space there. All right. And of course, I'm going to leave it empty so that the user can actually type something in. The next one, I am going to. Just make sure I actually got the right one. Okay, yeah, it's in the right panel. Okay, so because you can see as it, it gets listed under each panel. Yeah. So surname, uh, text field. Okay, so that's all we want. Okay, then we have another one, okay. and this one will be. Um, mobile text field, and then we have um, the last one, which is the email text field. Okay, so so far we, this is what we have, and this is what's generated, uh, auto generate for us. Okay, now uh, what I want to do is put in a button, so a J button. Okay. So now before I actually do this, I have to change the south panel so that it becomes flow layout. Okay, so there's other types of layouts as well. So I'm just gonna choose a flow layout. And you notice that the button is there. Okay, so button, I'm gonna rename this. Um, I will add contact. 
button. Okay, so um, no, I'll just leave it as is, and then because I'm going to add another button. Okay, well, wait, add. Or just say new uh, content. Okay, so there. We have add another button in here. Okay, so you see that uh, with flow layout, it just pushes it beside it. It stays beside that. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna call this a no op right now. No op button. No operation. Okay. So instead, uh, I can say ignore or just no op. How about that? I'm gonna change it a bit. Okay, so that that wasn't. That's not a good thing for me to do. But uh, let's just do this. Okay. And so no op. All right, so that's what we have now. And you see these empty spaces, it looks kind of weird. Okay, but it's okay as well, okay? So if I go back up here, okay, highlight that, I can actually uh, move this form around. Okay. Let me see if I can demonstrate that. And let me just move this down here, all right? So this is what we have. So let, let's see if we can preview this. Okay, so I go up to, um, you hover your mouse, I right? don't have that, that um, thing. What I'm trying to find, there's, there's a little character that pops up, not character, but anyways. So here, let me try previewing it. Okay, so we can see what it looks like. We may have a little problem because this seems to, this area here, oh no, it looks fine. But it looks like there was an additional um, um, horizontal spacers there, uh, or vertical spacer, which I can delete. So I can just uh, highlight it and then delete, and then it'll go away. See, so it's gone. All right, because I don't want that in the in the text field. All right, so let let's see um, if sorry, I'm add it. I accidentally added a, a button. You can always do an undo. And then let me go back and right, so there. That's yeah, added in another button that was not supposed to be there. So it's easier just to highlight that here and then just uh, delete that. Okay, so this this is what we we have right now, and um, and again, IntelliJ will will bind um, will actually bind the the two the form and and the, the code together. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and then uh, in the next tutorial following this, I will add some um, some code. Okay, so I'm going to add some, some listeners for these uh, and introduce a bit of uh, event-driven uh, event handling uh, for GUIs in Java. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you again next time. Take care.